it took eight games, but the Adamson University Soaring Falcons finally did it. Limiting the De La Salle University Green Archers to a record low first quarter outing, the Soaring Falcons were able to hold off their opponents late, picking up a 57 50 victory on Saturday afternoon at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. This is Franz Pumeran's first win over his former squad since his return to collegiate sports. Moreover, this is Adamson's first win over LaSalle since October 27, 2015, which saw the former pick up a 75-74 win under then-head coach Mike Furman. Well, just like what I mentioned prior to this game, it just so happened that we are playing LaSalle. We just treated this game as a game we needed to win to maintain our position now, said Pumran, who was 0-7 against LaSalle prior to this game. And it was defense that did it for Adamson. I think we really prepared pretty well against LaSalle. Everyone was excited to play them today because we are able to recover in that debacle against LaSalle during the first round, recalled Pumran as Adamson had lost to LaSalle in the first round, 78-79 in overtime, last October 13. I think it's good that we are able to recover, and that's the best thing for our program. LaSalle were limited to just two points in the first quarter, only picking up their first field goal with 8.38 left in the second quarter, a power move by Justine Baltazer inside. Prior to that Baltazer bucket, the Green Archers had been 0 of 20 from the field. The Green Archers' two-point first quarter is the worst start for any team since 2003. The previous low was three points, Adamson and New had that record of futility back in July 30, 2014 and August 27, 2009, respectively. Moreover, it is the worst quarter scoring in league history, tying the mark by Adamson during the second quarter of their 25-62 loss to the New Bulldogs back in July 30, 2014. I guess what really transpired in this game is our defense. We showed today that we are able to control them, added Bumran. Behind Algen Malicio, the Green Archers mounted a comeback in the final frame. Scoring back to back triples to cut the lead down to just a solitary point with 6.06 left. But Sean Banganti and Jerry Pingoy answered right back with cold blooded triples to restore order with 3.31 remaining. Manganti towed Adamson with 19 points, 12 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, and a block. Sean played pretty well. They rejected Sean and we got him. That shows that our program knows how to develop players, shared Pumran. Poppy Sar added 12 points and 15 rebounds, while Jerry Pingoy scattered 6 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists. Jarek Ahanmissi was limited to just 9 points on 3 of 12 shooting. With the win, Adamson are now on top of the standings with a 7 2 record, while LaSalle dropped to a 5 4 record. LaSalle shot just 26% from the field. Malicio led LaSalle with 18 points, but needed 23 field goal attempts. Ancho Serrano added 10 points from off the bench duties. The twin tower combination of Justine Baltazer and Santi Santillan combined to shoot just 5 for 15 from the field, with the latter grabbing 15 rebounds. The scores. Adu 57, Manganti 19, Sar 12, Ahan Missy 9, Pingoy 6, Camacho 4, Lastimosa 3, Magbujos 2, Zaldiver 2, Catapiasan 0, Magica 0, Espileta 0, Bernardo 0. DLSU 50, Melisio 18, Serrano 10, Baltazer 6, Santolin 5, Montalbo 4, Dyke 4, Manuel 2, Caracut 1, 
Bates 0, Cartesia 0. Quarter scores, 9-2, 28-21, 41-35, 57-50.